sit on the plane is where I could see, uh, you know, the engine and everything. Uh, I happened to be being a bad kid and uh, kind of getting up and grabbing something out of my bag while we was taking off. Um, and, you know, I just remember walking back to my seat. And as I got to my seat, I just hear a loud bang. And me and Mike looked at each other and he was like, oh, those, that was, those are the birds. I guess Mike seen the birds passing through the window and then seen it as it was happening. So all I heard was a bang. And then I turn and look out the window and see the whole like engine shaking and everything. And then you see everybody in the back kind of like, you know, reacting to what's going on. And, you know, a lot of the people in the back that were sitting like, you know, behind the engine and stuff like that, they seen a burst of flames. So immediately they, they're probably thinking like the plane is fully caught on fire. And I see everybody kind of reacting towards that. Um, and then rec just recalling that whole situation was pretty crazy. The whole plane just started shaking. It was just, uh, it's definitely uh, something that, you know, experience that I'm happy that, you know, we we able to tell. Cause um, like I said, a lot of us really, uh, you know, came to <clears throat> like a, a point, at least 30 seconds in that flight, everybody came to the point where it was like, man, this might be, this might be over for us. And, um, you know, it's sad to say that. And, and, you know, I don't play with death or any, anything like that. Um, and uh, it's just something that, you know, we got to push through and come together and, uh, you know, keep going.